change is underway for the Chapin Theater Company. They finally have a place to call their own. News 19's Rachel Rip brings us up to date on the building renovations. This green building at 830 Columbia Avenue is about to be a hot spot for the Chapin community. The Chapin Theater Company is moving in and setting up shop, literally. If my dream comes true, <laughs> they'll be done uh, in January or the first week in February. Then I'll have three weeks to get this ready, hang lights, build a set, uh, get the chairs in place. Jim DeFelice, the president of the Chapin Theater Company, says they plan to have inspections of electrical, plumbing, and the HVAC system very soon. We bought this six and a quarter acres with help from sale of that property that we were given by our patron and then donations and a little bit of a loan. This plan has been long in the works since 2010. From the old auditorium of Chapin High School to the Harbison Theater to the Firehouse Theater, this group now has a place to call home. The nice thing about having our own building that we own, first time we've ever owned a building, right, in our 44 years, is that we control the calendar. So, you know, we can juggle things around. Maybe we push the May show back a week. Almost $850,000 is what it cost for this huge undertaking. All funded through Midlands Gives, their 10-minute play festival, their summer musical, and other patron donations. DeFelice says he hopes their first show of the season can run in March. It's called Death by Design with a cast of about a dozen. Reporting in Chapin, Rachel Rip, News 19, WLTX. According to the Chapin Theater's, uh, Theater Company's president, they plan to upgrade parking, curtains, lighting, and sound, and add headsets for those who are hearing impaired at a later date. They also have another four acres for future use or expansion. 